And welcome to Against the Storm. Today we're going to be jumping into the marshlands. It's probably my favourite map, so let's head in, shall we? We've got humans and lizards to start with. Now, not much fertile soil in the marshlands, so probably don't want to pick the humans, actually. So, maybe we'll just go with the harpies. I don't really like the things the harpies are bringing. It's a lot of food and skewers, but I think that's fine. So let's see, I mean harpies are pretty good in here because you can, they're good at gathering mushrooms and berries I think, are there, are there berries in here? No there are no berries but there are mushrooms, lots and lots of mushrooms. Okay we'll pick some newcomers and how about just some Big stacks of food. Actually, no, I don't have any bricks, do I? So we want some stone. Let's grab some stone. Okay. Gonna embark and jump into the marshland. What have we got? Ah, okay. That's nice. Opening glades just gives you a big boost to deposit numbers. And then we have. Unearthly element lowers the maximum number of sacrifice stacks. I don't think I've ever used the max. Everything else is at level 2. Okay. You lose rainwater. Don't gain reputation during the storm. I need to remember that one. And woodcutters are faster but destroy their yield. Okay. That's kind of a double edged sword. Sometimes you do just want to cut things down instead of actually get what's in the trees. Yeah, the reason I like the marshland so much is that I quite like how much, uh, how many dangerous glades there are and how rewarding going into a forbidden glade is. So we're definitely going to be doing that. In fact, there are two not that far away. Technically, that that's two glades away, and that one's two glades away. So that's pretty good. And then we have one. There's a little bit further away in the bottom here. So we've got some humans, some harpies, and some lizards. I was hoping for lizards. Humans are also good, actually. So yeah, we, we've got some good stuff. I mean, humans aren't going to be good for fertile land, so we don't want too many humans. But they still do some useful stuff. Stone cutter straight away. Stone cutter weirdly actually gives a fair amount of food. We are going to be wanting to cut down some of these lovely trees as they provide quite a lot of mushrooms and I, I like mushrooms as a food. You can turn them into flour, you can turn them into skewers. I think you can make mushroom pie? don't think you can make mushroom biscuits. What are we wanting here? Yeah, actually, my food requirements are really weird. Pie, everyone loves pie in this, uh, this game, apparently. Let's get a load of harpy long jets. And what is our cornerstone? Five pigment for every ten insects produced. Only harpies care about pigment. That is for scrolls, so I don't really care about that. Don't want villagers dying. Uh, flame amulets is fine. Pick that. Because we're probably going to want three lumber camps or woodcutters camps. Because uh, the one thing I do find on this map is if you don't, if you don't get a perk that buffs the amount of wood you get, you actually start struggling with wood a little bit because there's no bonus chance to get wood from these trees which can be a little bit of a problem now we have orders, what have we got? we have help from the queen we could get a small farm, vegetables and grain that could be useful uh, I mean it's a free farm and I mean while the basic logistics is very easy uh, it's not that good and plus one to mushrooms I like so yeah that's kind of free I like that one a lot. We have 
plus one to copper ore production. Is there copper ore in there? Yes, there is copper ore in the mushroom place. Copper ore and coal, yes, but well, there's pretty good mines of farming, but unfortunately we don't have any beavers. The flock, actually, that's quite hard keeping half your resolve above 13. You need to do quite a lot to do that. I think we're just going to go for TikTok. Dangerous glades o'clock. Amber trade, not bad. More stones, also not bad. We're not getting any extra villagers with these orders though, so I think I'm going to go for the amber trade. So here we have our deeds, we have our people. But what do we want building wise? don't like any of these very much. We don't have any clay to make pottery, and we have copper, so brickyard is not very useful. Carpenter is not that useful. We don't have beavers, so the lumber, we don't need too many planks, so yeah, the lumber, the lumber mill, not that good. Tool shop, again, also not that good. I'm just going to reroll that immediately, I think. Trapper's camp, bath house, forester's hut. Oh, well, we'll just go with the trap skin. I think it's pretty safe. Now we've got like all the uh, farms there. Mm, there's there's going to be no fertile ground though, and we already have this farm from the reward just in case we do get a little bit. I think, but I think pick up a farm is going to be a mistake. So maybe uh, the forages camp just for grain. That doesn't feel that good. Oh, screw it. Let's just go all camps. Explorer's Lodge. That's not that good either. I thought it was the other one. There's the, the nice thing about the marshlands is how much bonus gathering you get from gathering knowledge. Although this seems to have been nerfed. It used to work on woodcutters camps, I think. But it's every two workers assigned to gathering camps you get plus 10% gathering speed. So you kind of want to be gathering as much as you can. Which is why we want to go into those big forbidden glades quite quickly. Because they have an almost infinite amount of things to gather. There's actually quite a lot of resources here to start with. It's not bad. The, the flame amulets that we picked up, I'm pretty happy with that. It just halves the, um, the amount of hostility that you get from woodcutters. And like I said, I'm probably going to want three woodcutters camps this game. So that. That will make that a lot manageable. Can we clear around the hearth? Just give me a bit of building space. And we did unlock Harpy Houses as a standard blueprint uh, last session, so that's really nice. Although that does require quite a lot of fabric. these useful or I mean I mean the barrels and the training gear could be useful. And the tea. All of these from the Cooperage are good. Druid's heart less so, Carpenter no. Yeah we'll probably go for the Cooperage but we'll we'll hang on hold off on it. Like none of those buildings are actually useful immediately. Let's speed things up a bit. I think we're just gonna be Maybe we'll go into the small glade actually, but we'll just gather for a little while. 
Play it a little bit slow, a little bit safe. Nothing wrong with that. Want to be starting making bricks, fabric. Kind of want as much fabric as we can. This is another problem with these trees: is they have a five percent chance of giving you leather, which is useful, but uh, they don't give it anything else that can be used to make fabric. So there isn't actually that much fabric on this map until you start finding some, uh, some of it from meat. Oh, it isn't nice to be able to pause the game again. That shattered opalis glass map was was a little annoying. I have a spare builder. I do. My my only lizard is my spare builder. Let's get him building some houses. I mean, everyone is fine for the storm coming up, but. Nice to get a bit of housing. Even though I have all the advanced houses, I don't think I can really afford any of them. Because they all require quite a lot of fabric, and yeah, we have nothing that can be turned into fabric so far. I guess I could make some human houses, and maybe we will do that shortly. got a nice little bit of copper here. Copper gives clay apparently, didn't know that. Coal gives stone, we found that out last session. We have a drizzle water geyser here, that will be useful for once we get food running. What do we... I mean pie is what we really want, but jerky is also good. Biscuits is good. Pickled goods probably isn't going to happen in this game. What else is good? If we could get religion going, that would be nice. Treatment would be good. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of overlapping stuff here. So we can do things with this. There are, there are plans coming together. Drop a stone miner and now put him in the crude workstation because we could start doing with some stuff. Because if I think I'm going to go to this dangerous clay to the north, and then fingers crossed, it won't need anything too crazy. I'm hoping to get a deed that maybe. Sorry, not a deed. I keep calling them deeds. I don't know where that's come from. It's a cornerstone. I think I want something that either lowers hostility or gives me more people. Or if we can get the one, the fungal guide, just get an infinite amount of mushrooms. That is another way to do well on this map, I think. When I saw that, I was like, yes, I want this in the marshlands. Because you just you get a ton of mushrooms from wood cutting, you also get it from gathering. That would be quite silly if we could get that. The meat one would also be nice. I can't remember what it's called, but it's got a picture of a big old steak. Okay, we have our deeds. None of the ones I was talking about. Exploration expedition. I'm not sure I do want that, because I keep forgetting about it and it causes a lot of issues. Without restrictions, I actually quite like, just because I keep forgetting about consumption control, so I'm just going to pick that. It's a 10% bonus production chance, you know, it's, it's quite good. Like everyone, 10% bonus, to, or 10% chance to double their uh, whatever they're picking up. Couple that with the gathering speed, that could be really nice. Okay, we have more. Let's get some. Hmm. Let's get some lizards and humans. I think we have enough half a piece for now. I'm gonna set down some human houses be built at some point because I don't have no advanced 
fill things at all. We need to start going to these dangerous glades, getting my orders completed, otherwise we are going to stagnate very, very quickly. Without orders, I think I'm not going to have any buildings that do anything useful. I think I will pick up the Cooperage now. Yeah, I've got, I've got absolutely no way of providing for my villagers anything useful other than houses. And to be fair, the houses is a plus three if I can get them in their, their luxury housing. Okay, what have we got? We have a lot of things I don't recognize. We have a rain spirit totem. I can't do anything with it. What does it do? Fishman magic can be very effective. Destroy all roads. And villagers move 30% slower. That's really not that bad. And we can cleanse it or burn it down. What does cleansing it do? Decreases hostility by 50. Wow, that's pretty nice. Although that is going to be very difficult to get. There is no resin on this map, unfortunately. There's no oil, there's no... I do have a way of making tea from the cooperage. Uh, how do you make tea? Tea. We need... We could make this. I would need copper bars, though. It's not very likely. And what's this inscribed mod? I have no idea. Absolutely no idea what that is. Maybe just a free decoration? But we have... Oh, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> we have big, uh, big mushroom piles, but it's the only camp that I didn't upgrade. But there is a big brood mother over here, and that will give us a lot of leather, and that will mean I can make some better housing for my bees. I think, unfortunately, this this totem, we're just going to have to deal with it for now. I mean, I could burn it down, but honestly, the downside to it doesn't seem too bad. I would really quite like to convert it. Minus 50 or 30, while not very much, can be a nice you know, way of dodging some breakpoints. I'm, I'm going to gamble. We're going to gamble. See if we can get something better. Okay, it's either... It's grain or grain. Um, plus two to humans forever or five humans? I guess plus two to humans forever. That gives us a load of people. And then loads of harpies that would plus two to lizards forever. I think having plus four to everyone, every newcomer group, is actually just going to destroy me. So maybe we'll get that off your relatives with that. Those two, those two things were very similar and kind of not what I wanted to see. Oh, let's let's cut through some more blades, see what we have, because we, we kind of need options here. We need, well, we need quite a lot. We need to be able to deal with this rain totem. So we're working on that. I think we also need a trading post. Built that the wrong way around, didn't I? Push that around. There we go. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I feel like the building that I've built and the orders that I have have not lined up well at all. No, no, I just feel like a fool.
maybe, maybe we can buy oil or something off a trader. Because oil is quite cheap. And then we can perform this ritual and get rid of this horrible totem. It's probably going to activate once though. I'm going to rebuild all our roads. Because having plus 200 hostility in the storm this early on is, is not going to happen. We will get absolutely destroyed by that. So that is definitely a problem. See, let's speed things up a little bit. I mean, food is fine, no one's starving. And we can still keep building these houses to gain some resolve bonuses. So that is nice. All is not lost yet, but uh, it's not looking great. This isn't a great start. But if we can get past this and get into some of these forbidden blades, you know, this could be really good. Hopefully. I mean, if we have, if this Forbidden Glade has the wrong, if this has the giant mushroom in it, then we're a bit screwed. We're, we've kind of gone all in on this being something useful that I can use in this Forbidden Glade. Fingers crossed it's the right one. At least we know, well, hopefully we'll get two more humans and we can hand in help for the queen. The queen? And that will be another blueprint unlocked. Okay, Mr. Trader Man, you are going to have to save my bacon. I need 20 oil. Oil is very, very cheap. Let's sell everything. I think it's going to have to be just everything we can. Don't want to sell too much of my food. We have a lot of stone, so we can sell the bricks. Planks are fine to sell. Don't really want to sell the fabric just yet. Clay, we're not going to use. Oh. Sell one berry. There we go. Okay, we now have enough oil to deal with this rain totem, but we don't have enough time, unfortunately. We'll have to wait out till next year to deal with it. Is there anything else I want to buy? Okay, selling a lot of farms on a map with very little fertile land. Let's move my harvest camp up here, so continue gathering some mushrooms. Yeah, that, that trader did save me a little bit there. That was nice. We are probably going to go into this dangerous glade next year. Are going to be arriving very shortly. Let's move my woodcutters camp down a bit just so we're ready for that. Thankfully, we did find this leech brood mother giving us all this lovely leather. And we can turn that leather into fabric and then turn that fabric into houses. It's a little bit horrible if you think of it. These houses are made entirely of leather. Yes. Speed through this storm, I th think I'm okay. We have three hostility into the next level. That's a little bit annoying. Got some more stone. Might need to pop one woodcutter up, otherwise my monkeys will be too miserable to survive. I think, yeah, I think the storm is going to be minus eight, isn't it? It sure is. They are too unhappy. There we go. Now they're fine. Yeah, the, the plus 200 for doing the yeah, rain spirit totem would have really destroyed all of my unhappiness. And my people would have been so miserable, I probably would have just lost the game and wasted all that oil if I'd done this too soon. But it does probably mean we are going to get a flooding event. All my beautiful roads will be lost. Might be able to, if I 
start this maybe let's see I start it now everyone's unhappy but the storm should end soon Maybe, maybe we can save our roads yet. Let's have a look, cornerstone-wise, what do we want? There's, mm, cannibalism is, uh, no thank you, we have enough meat. Biscuit diet, again, no farmers. Steel pickaxes is very boring, but we are mining a lot of stone, so it's a safe pick. I don't think it's a great pick. But I feel like every time I re-roll, I just get something way worse. Dealing with this rain spirit totem now, and it gives us a lovely minus 50 or 30 once we deal with it. And what do we want? More humans and more lizards is fine. I was hoping for two humans so that I could end in that order. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Going to this dangerous glade to the south, see what we find. So, we want to do that during the drizzle season because of this wild growth forest mystery. We've got a couple of animals as well. We've got some happy humans and some happy uh, harpies. They're still, still pretty miserable. We do have a lot of harpies. Apparently harpies are quite bad workers. They, uh, I think they take breaks an awful lot. They are quite fragile beings. Okay, we have found some fertile land, that's nice. And we found a big load of coal and copper, that's good. And some grain, that could be useful. And more mushrooms. But what is our event? We have the withered tree. The light trot poisoning the tree tissues, okay. So we need to burn it down. Mm, the, again, the negative effect isn't too bad, just blight rot cysts are more resilient. We haven't got any blight rot cysts. Uh, Voice of the Forest, I mean, we do need to deal with this, because it gets worse the more dangerous glades I discover. But for now, I think it's fine. We uh, don't have any rain punk or whatever they call it in this game, so we are fine. Thinking where where would a good place to expand be? Maybe we could cut through some of these glades and put another another small hearth down. I would really like to know what's in the forbidden blade, but I, I just feel like I don't have enough resources to do so. And uh, I've kind of half completed a bunch of orders, which also isn't very helpful. How are we doing on fabric? Okay. Do I have enough leather? No, it's still just not really enough leather to make a steady supply. Do I want a farm? do, but I need to hand in help for the queen first. So we need one more human. Could try and push our luck and see if there's one in a small glade somewhere. Maybe a little human camp. I think that's pretty unlikely though. I didn't actually check what this is, a workshop. Oh wow, I've never seen one of these before. It makes planks, fabrics, and bricks much more efficiently. That's a nice little building. That would actually help out a lot, that would make our leather go quite a lot further. So it's just a better crude workstation, I guess. But yeah, let's pick that up. It's a little bit further away from the workshop, sorry, the, um, the warehouse, but that's not a big deal. Let's start rebuilding this. I think I have almost enough of everything. How's the rain totem ritual going? See, my little guy is a 
praying the rain away. And there we go. Decreases hostility by 50. It's pretty nice. And that wasn't too expensive either. Just a bit of oil off the trader. It's orders time, what have we got? No, complete any three dangerous glade events. He really wants me to do that, or make some coats. Plus one to leather would be really nice. Uh, and coats is totally doable, so let's do that. And we have a lot of trading. Charity fair. And a market, so we need to deliver 40 amber. 40 amber is a lot of amber. That is quite nice, and I think... I don't think I can make trade goods at all, can I? Not yet, anyway. No, we'll, um, we'll leave that one for now. Don't need to pick it. What's this box? We have a box of barrels, scrolls, and ancient tablets. I think I'm going to break that open. Send my guys out with some armfuls of rocks and just smash it open. Because ancient tablets sell for quite a lot of amber. I also like the idea of getting a mine. Get a little mine down here by our workshop. That mine up some copper and some coal. Could be very nice. I'm feeling a little bit lost in this game, I will admit. I'm not really sure what I should be working towards, because I haven't unlocked any buildings at all other than this cooperage. Which isn't very useful. The other two unlocks I got were both camps. So I'm hoping to be able to complete some of these orders a little bit quicker. Maybe we should focus on gathering some grain for this happy humans. Let's see. Bit of a squiggledy path, that's fine. Fortunately, I think this is just going to be a very slow start. Oh, well, we are learning the game as we play. Perhaps picking the camps up wasn't a good idea with those three blueprints you get at the beginning should probably have been a little bit more focused on a goal of some kind. Let's move our workers over to this lovely new workshop where they can make everything a lot more efficiently. So we want to be making... I don't really care about pipes right now. Gather some grain. See if we can get these happy humans order completed. Which will give us some more humans and some more coats to be made. We can I think you can just delete that crude baked workstation. This workshop seems quite a lot better. And you can also connect connect rain to it. That's useful. Although we only have two drizzle geysers nearby, that's not that useful. Let's move my woodcutter's camp and clear out some more mushroomy trees. There's my other woodcutters, what's over here? Quite far away from any, any trees, not the most useful. 
I think I'm just ignoring this withered tree. I think that's the best I can do, really. We are only in hostility zero. That is mostly because of flame amulets and this converted wrong totem. Keeping us very much away from the hostility of the forest. How are we doing on fire? We have another four. We can pop down another RP house. And what about and what fields? I guess we can build them. There's no harm in building that field. Just there's nothing to farm yet. I think this is the year that things will start. Rooty ground, I think that is the pick here. More wood is really useful. Probably not going to do that much farming. We want to sell these tablets for probably just amber. Is there anything he sells that I want? There really isn't. Let's sell some more then. We could maybe sell some barrels as well. Okay, there we go, that is one order complete. This order gives me two more people. Which neither of them was a human, that's enough. But we do at least have something we can build. We have wine, porridge, don't need wine at all. Skewers, copper bars and ale, we do want them. The ale less so, but skewers and porridge Sorry, skewers and copper bars do want. Oil and flour we don't need yet. Skewers and biscuits though. No, we want pies. I think we go for the grill. The grill is safe. Let's pick up the grill. The grill gives me copper bars as well. And here, yes, okay, humans, please. Excellent. There we go. We're now... We now have something, at least. We've got a goal. We can build this grill. We can put some lizards in it. We can have them put, honestly, whatever they want in. We don't want any ale. And copper bars aren't going to happen just yet. We can limit it to 30. Skewers, we have only lizards eating. Really? Only lizards eat skewers? Okay. And we also have this humans, which is more mushrooms. And we can get a small farm. Okay, things are happening. Finally, we're getting somewhere. And these copper bars will be used to deal with the blighted tree. And we'll get copper from our new mine. And the bakery is excellent here. Don't have any flour though. But we do want a bakery. Even though the pottery is useless, pies and biscuits are going to be fantastic here. There we go, just a small couple of orders, and then finally it feels like we have a functioning city. Something is finally in place. Down another happy house, we need... Yeah, we need three more, and we need jerky. Probably do with a lizard house. Maybe we can pop one up here. Yeah, well actually that road is wonky, I didn't realise. Mm -hmm. can't, can't move this trading post. But I'll tell you what, we will we'll do that. How about we add some we'll add some heaps 
here for some reason. Some piping. And then it looks like I planned this terrible road. Run out of stone cutters. So I guess our stone cutters can now just go work in the mine. It's kind of bad to be on year four already, going pretty quickly into year five, and we still have only one real food source set up, and it's not even very self sustaining. We do at least have a bakery, we have an option for more food, we just need to find a way to grind up some mushrooms and turn them into a lovely flour. And now perhaps we should think about uncovering some of these glades at the top. Do you think we'll move my woodcutter's caps up here? Oh, not on my I don't know why that didn't move. Come on. I'm going to open up a couple of these glades. I mean, our city really isn't a problem at the moment. Ah, uh, gosh. No, a charity fair, I don't think we're going to be able to do it, but we can at least try. Healing, again, I don't think it's going to help them. Um, hmm. Do have some happy lizards, though. That's, that's a plus. Can I upgrade the hearth again? Probably. Get it to neighborhood level. Now this withered tree has activated and it will keep activating until I burn it down. We are working on that. So let's actually work on it a bit harder and put down the blight post. Didn't spot this little cache here. Looks like a box of clay next to some pots. I guess some poor potter was adventuring in the forest for some reason and left his cache behind. Odd place to make pottery, but whatever. So we need to cap this at about five. Thankfully we did get that rooty ground, so we have plus one to wood production, otherwise that can be a real problem I think on this map, you just run out of fuel quite quickly. Stick another human in this forager's camp, although wheat, sorry grain, is not very useful. The plant fiber is good and having a stock of grain eventually will be useful once we get the flour and the baker up and running. Speed through this storm. I don't think there's anything I really need to think about. The Queen's impatience is getting a little bit high. That is probably why I'm not having hostility issues. She is giving me minus 90, so almost a whole level. We have actually found some people. And some more wheat and some more meat. We have 205 mushrooms. I did not realize we had that many. That is quite silly. What I am going to do is that piece of wheat is right in the wrong place. Cornerstone time. 10 jerky for every 10 I produced. That fixes the jerky problem. We know we're going to be making pie. So that means I don't actually need to find a way to make jerky if we can just make pie. That's really good. I'm 
gonna pop away and I'll stand at the top here because hopefully we can gather what's in its forbidden blade. Let's get some newcomers. Um hmm. Get the next bag for one of everything. I think that's fine. Let's get some more harpies housing and some more lizard housing. Do I go into this forbidden blade now? No. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Do I have any advanced resources? Oh, we have scrolls. It's more, do I have the ability to make any? I mean, we could make it through the cooperage. We can make some good stuff. Yeah, we probably can. I think the quicker we go in, the better. Let's do it. Let's see what's in there. See if this is a terrible mistake or not. Been, we can smash open some caches as well. I think we've got options here. We've certainly got options. Do I really still not have any copper wool? That's... Where is it all going? Oh, this is mostly coal instead of copper. Oh, I did not realize how many idle people I had. Whoops. I feel like I do that a lot. I can probably start burning down this tree soon once we get the copper. So the voice of the forest will be destroyed. The only thing I'm going to cut into this place quick enough. Am I really out of parts? How did that happen? Two hundred mushrooms. I could probably sell about a hundred of them. I could probably sell some wood as well. That looks pretty good. Yes. Get a load of uh, amber for that. I, I think woodcutters moving fast is going to be nice. I think that's all we need though. Fortunately, I do think I have not cut into this forbidden blade quick enough, because this uh, I didn't realize that plants. Maybe we can. Oh, I don't know. Is there any orders that give parts? Did I not pick any? I didn't. Uh oh. I think we might have made a mistake. Yes, the the, uh, the blank post and the mine do take quite a lot of parts to be made. I could I could delete this stone cutter's camp, but that would mean I can never rebuild it because it would then become a warehouse. Yes, we are getting stone from the copper, are we? I'm not sure. you sell anything useful? No parts. Tell you what, we will break into this glade first and then we'll decide if we need a warehouse here. Because if this is the large mushroom, then it will be a waste because I can't get it. If it's anything else, we'll build the warehouse. And we'll probably build a small one up here as well. I think that's what we're going to do. That sounds like a good plan. I hope I still haven't produced enough copper oil. That seems very silly. These are becoming some very resilient 
flight cysts. It's going to take 10 seconds longer to burn them down by the time I've actually dealt with that thing. That could be a problem. Um, I guess we can build a cooperage. Maybe down... Actually, let's, let's go next to the blight maker. Or blight maker, blight post. Was a meek blight. This isn't one of those firemen who turn into arsonists all the time kind of deal. It's quite an interesting. I think it was a book I read was about how there's some evidence in kind of more ancient times of firemen who were paid per house that they extinguished. So they went around setting fire to houses and then extinguishing them for the, the reward. So yeah, that's that's why we don't do that anymore. So it's a bit silly when you actually think about it. That incentive. We have uh, humans without houses. Let's pop down some more houses. And we've got a nice little garden here as well. Quite like that. Aesthetically, it's very nice. And we need one more hearty house. So let's go down here and we can make a block of happy houses. With storm time, we are very much prepared. Finally gained a reputation. And oh, we have the purpleless camp. So, you know what? I'm just going to pick it. For all three camps, whatever's in this forbidden glade we can use. That's good. Well, uh, let's let's pick some more of this. We have focus on farming yet, and no, that's not gonna happen. It's never good. Delivering packs of building materials and packs of crops, I can at least do that. It's gonna take a long time. Travel rations is actually quite easy. That's you very easy. I mean, it's a long grind, but provisions, I think, are um, provisions. Let's have a look. Can I make them a meat? I can. Yes, that's fine. We are a little bit low on food. It's mostly because we're just eating mushrooms. But I'm hoping to fix that shortly. We have all our harpies and all our humans are in luxury houses, but our lizards are not. We should really build some more lizard houses. It's got a kind of lizard section over here. Okay, time to cut into this forbidden glade. I don't need to do it that big. And let's see what we got. Corner stone first though, a woodcutter's prayer, that is nice. But I don't think it's useful. A rebellious spirit, I mean we have so much Queen's Impatience, that is actually a big booster resolve. That is gonna be quite useful. I mean obviously it gets worse as you go and as you deal with things, but we are gaining plus four global resolve because of rebellious spirit, because the Queen is so unhappy with us, because I am Progressing glacially in this city, it feels like. This is not going the best. Maybe, I mean, I really need uh, parts. Not plants, but parts. And that that is a gigantic to-do list on the right there. 
All these orders that are unfulfilled. I don't blame the Queen for being a bit annoyed at me. I think I'd be annoyed at me as well. We favour the humans here, we could hand in this happy humans quest. We can also deal with this blight post, this with a tree. So we're handing in orders now. Progress is being made. I just really could do with parts. I don't think Zorg sells parts. Whenever I say that guy's name, it really sounds like something completely strange. Something from like a 90s alien movie. Uh, you're, you're welcome to for learning a new mechanic from me. <laughs> I have no idea what it could have been. I'm pretty new to this game myself, but there is so many mechanics in this game. That's uh... Yeah, there's there's a lot to learn. Okay. Sorry, I was distracted by the, uh, the cawing noises. This is a giant stormbird's nest. I've never seen this before. Let's have a good look at this thing. That is very cool. Let's uh, play the animations. Oh, I can tame it. Oh, we've got to do that. Oh, its friendliness has a positive effect on these. So we have the Stormbird's Anger. Actually, that's a lot of paragraphs. Let's pause it and read this. Disturbing the Stormbird's Nest instantly summon a storm, which will continue until your scouts have finished working on the event. Okay, that is pretty horrible. Growing darkness. Villagers get a minus four penalty to their resolve for each hostility level. Oh wow, so this is like a super storm. This is... This... Can I deal with it? I can't deal with this, can I? My moppies aren't happy. So this would be, let's work this out, if I dropped a hostility level, so if I took all my lumberjacks out I could probably deal with this, but this is a three and a half minute storm. Okay, hey, let's do it. I mean, I, you gotta tame this thing, I mean, it looks so cool. Harpies in. Down our thirty level. Time to start the storm. And we have our happy humans. Hand that in. Stop favoring them. And we're going to taming the storm bird. That is so cool. <laughs> I love the look of that thing. I can't wait to have that in in my settlement. When these stormbirds are the the things that I have been harvesting their eggs for many many cities. No, they're not. These are snow nests. Never mind. I'm completely wrong. I did think they seemed like very small nests for such a big bird. Yeah, ignore that completely. Now anyway, we have the ancient proto wheat. I don't like this one that much. It's a lot of grain, which I guess is good, and reeds and herbs. Herbs can be used to make biscuits, oil and an occasional bit of amber. It's not that useful in, in my experience anyway, but it's much better than nothing. I think it is time to say goodbye to our stonecutter's camp, and we should build this warehouse because this is an almost infinite amount of charges on this proto-wheat. Okay. 
Does it have any tomorrow I can burn? No, we can't make this go any faster. Okay, we are just going to go storm into storm here. I feel like this is worth it though. I do want to see what... The friendliness has a positive effect on harpies. I really want to know what that means. Well, that's interesting. My year counter has stopped. I guess the season cannot change while it's in another season. Oh no, hostility just crit. Why did that grow? No! I lost impatience. Why? What happened? Oh no, because the tree. I finished the tree. Oh, that's really bad. I'm gonna have to burn all of my wood away, I think. Yes, I forgot the reward for completing this withered tree was plus one reputation. My food is running out quite rapidly. We uh, probably gather some more. A lot of idle villagers. I forgot I upgraded my herbalist camp and uh, haven't been gathering anything with it for a long time. That was a bit foolish. And how can I make these provisions that I need? Makeshift post. We can start doing that maybe. So only 10 seconds left of storm. There we go. So what happens now? We have unique ally gives you a plus three bonus to resolve for all the harpies. That's really cool. It's quite a lot as well, and we get five eggs per minute. Can we move her uh, to uh, somewhere very cool in our settlement? I'm kind of hoping to put it here. There's just trees in the way. You know what? I'm actually gonna get my lumberjacks back and make space for her. And we can continue cutting down some trees over here. We really want lizard lumberjacks. I think harpies are a bit fragile. Actually, no. Because we want our lizards employed in our cooking places. And we have another cornerstone. Reroll them. Shouldn't have rerolled them. Every time. Every time I reroll, I'm like, shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Okay, we have three blueprints now. One of these. Better bring some flour. Smithy's fine, we can make goods. Temple monastery in a tavern. Temple might be good. Monastery, I like the effect because it's minus hostility. Monastery, let's go for it. Please give me some flour. Yes. Oh, and a provision. Thanks. Provisions better. That's perfect. We got very lucky there. We got exactly what we needed. We can finally start making some leaps and bounds towards winning the game now. Hello. Oh, I, I wanted a trader and I can't remember why. Just for something. Parts, I wanted parts. He does not sell parts. Unfortunate. 
いまあ、わかった。Oh, I'm still burning wood. Whoops. Oh, bad news that. That would have been pretty bad. Actually, we are mining a lot of coal from, well, our mine. That is what it's there for. So that wouldn't have been too bad. We have a storm geyser. Excellent. We want that. Oh, it's all, it's all coming together now. It's starting to feel that excited rush of uh, the roguelike where your build starts working. Yeah, let's get a human and a lizard to start making me some flour. We want actually we want tons of flour. That might be a bit too much flour. It's probably too much flour. Let's cap it at 40. And we want to make some provisions. Higher priority on the flour. And I've completely forgotten what why are we making flour? We're making it for the bakery, yes. store bird in a rightful place at the head of my city. Not not literally. She's not literally in charge. There she is. Lovely. And with the bakery we can make biscuits and we can make pies and with pies we make jerky why don't I have anything to make these things I think unfortunately everyone is eating everything that is needed to make stuff because we don't quite have enough food and we need more we really need more parts do I need to delete this mine That's the problem. Who's my next trader? Uh, so Thur the Ancient. He, I don't believe he sells parts either, unfortunately. Any parts anywhere to be found? Mm. Drill water, drill water, drizzle water, Kaiser. We can set that up on the bakery and the grill, but at the moment they're not making anything. That's not very useful. We want to prioritize pie, just because pie turns into uh, everyone can eat pie in this uh, city. Apparently, they just absolutely love pie, and we can also get jerky from it as well. So we probably do want to set up this geyser pump and connect it to our bakery. Just the chance of doubling resources could be really good here. I think once a bit of food comes out people stop eating the raw food and start eating the cooked food and that will mean suddenly our food just stabilizes very quickly. I'm not sure I can afford more people. Right. Oh. So none of them are bringing any food with them. I can't believe this happened again. Every game it feels like I'm out of food. It'd be nice if they brought some parts. Oh, they are. Oh, okay. Yep, sure, you're in. 
Welcome to the city. Well, let's get another trapper's game. Okay, this should be more meat and more leather. The leather not needed so much. Does it say how many eggs I've actually made from this nest of eggs? No. Oh, unless I haven't made any yet, but I'm pretty sure it's been a minute. There are some lizards. One of the provisional. Let's take you out. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I'm foolishly making packs of provisions with my meat. Let's not do that. Can't cancel that. We can cancel those. We just want to be making flour for now. Uh, lizards, that is what I was looking for. We have. I don't want to take the one out of the monastery. I like it. I like having multiple. Ah, yeah, but winning the game is probably more important. So we have 40% gathering speed from the uh, the gatherer's knowledge and we have a 10% chance of bonus yields plus a 10% chance because we've got the right specialization plus 10% more production speed I mean these camps are really good that's why I wanted all this um, all these parts and to start gathering from this these proto um, whatever they're called Proto-beings, proto-vegetables. We have 156 stone. That is quite a lot. There we go, we have a ton of jerky. Even though we can't make jerky in any way, we've made so much pie. Where is it? Yeah, we've, we've got 50 jerky from our pie. I think. Basically what just happened is we fixed all the food problems in our city. And we can even make skewers with our jerky at a much more efficient rate. Excellent. Why don't we pop down smithy? Start making some oats in the smithy. Bit of a weird place to make them. It's fine, I guess. We have unhoused harpies. Then let's move my woodcutter's camps across. We go into this dangerous glade up here. Not that we really need to. I feel like suddenly we are winning. Finally. Maybe finally is what I should say. I'm finally winning. Don't want to make tools. Do I want to make tools? Maybe. Let's... How many copper bars do I have? Not that many. No, and I have... I was going to say I have my foundry, but that's because they just took it all. Let's make some coats. Let's cap it at 36. Oh, we have harpy relatives. That is a big influx of harpies, a load of insects and support for the clan. But let's not do that in the middle of a storm. That's how you get a load of homeless and a very unhappy harpies in the middle of a storm, all threatening to leave your village. Said we'd build another hearth. So let's do that. We can move some lizards up here because they need a bit more housing. And you know, I wouldn't mind another woodcutter's camp actually. I don't have the parts. I keep forgetting.
Yeah, it would be nice to sustain another bakery. Not sure if I can just yet, but it would be nice. Raiders arriving quicker, that sounds good. Let's do that. So hopefully they'll bring some parts. One people living in this area. It's quite impressive. Let's cut into that dangerous glade like I said I would, and now that we've got a small hearth up here, why not we go clear some of the trees away? And let's build that second bakery. Do I have a lot of idle workers? Not, not a huge amount, we have six. I guess that is quite a large amount. I'm going to build another workshop station. I'm just going to put one person in there. Or maybe two actually, we're quite low on everything. Uh, good swires. Not the forsaken crypt. I hate this guy. Oh, I have 40 amber, it's a minus 20 to resolve if I tear down his stuff. To be fair, I don't need to tear with that. Perhaps we could just calm him down. But plus one reputation is not as fun as all the goodies that you get from this. To be fair, all the goodies that I don't need. It's it's purely greed that I want them. Just pure greed. Now, wasn't there another forbidden forest around here, whatever it's called? Yes, there's another forbidden glade to our left. I can actually afford the minus 20 if I did want to tear his stuff down. I know that the correct answer is calming the spirit. I know that's the correct answer, but it's not the fun answer. So let's tear it down. What's my next blueprint? We have, we could make super efficient pie. Just super duper pie. To be honest, it's not that big a deal. Uh, it would make some other stuff. Incense would be useful. We could make a leather worker. Yeah. I think it is actually the brick oven. Let's go for it. We're making super pie. Let's uh, delete or at least refund that second bakery and make a brick of them. Now we said we wanted more of everything, which we do. Even though this is a less efficient way of making these planks, fabric and bricks. Uh, unfortunately we don't have the workshop blueprint, we just found it in the wild. 25% to drizzle duration, that's quite nice. And as you see there at the top, my year suddenly rewound a little bit. 
It's a nice little perk, I like that. Unfortunately, no pilots. Brick oven is up and running. Why can three people go into the brick oven? This tiny little hut, but only two people in this bakery. That seems a bit dumb. Let's have harpy pies. Not not literally, we're not putting the harpies in pies, but they're all made by them. Let's switch the specialization from pies in the bakery to biscuits. Alright, let's just make biscuits. Tap it out at 100 biscuits, and we can tap this at 100 pies. Just go pie crazy. Does this guy sell pipes? No, he doesn't. That was the only other thing that I could maybe use. Whoopsie. Actually, I do want to do that. Let's prioritize pipes and we can make it. No, that's a really bad idea. Because there's actually no benefit to making it in my workstation. Whereas the workshop makes everything worse. So we'll make it in the, the workstation. I think I said those the wrong way around, but you know what I mean. This place makes the normal stuff better, and this will just make me pipes. Pops camp has gathered all the meat. Let's move it across. Build a little road. How are we doing at tearing down the Forsaken Crypt? I do like these new animations they've put in. Although this does, does make me feel kind of bad that they are just pickaxing it. It's fine, blame me, I told them to do it. Do I have herbs? There aren't any herbs on this map. In fact, there's no biscuit fillings on this map in any way. There's no roots or berries. You just can't get biscuits. Can we get them passively? Oh, we can get herbs through the ancient proto wheat. That's probably how we've been getting it. Well, there's a lot of humans. That is a lot of people. Do need more workers though. We can... Maybe... What do we want to do? Just need more pipes, I think. Which means we need more... Copper. Can I upgrade this with a pit pony? No, I don't have enough. Don't have enough planks. Am I out? Is my mine? Oh, my mine is actually completely out of everything. So yeah, we need this pit pony as soon as possible. I know. All this talk of food, I am starting to get mighty hungry myself. Come on, there must be one more plank. Where are you hiding the planks? Someone must have some. There they are, they're being delivered. Not that this mine is particularly important. We've done tearing down the Forsaken Crypt. I'll teach that spirit to be miserable. It never did anything with this cooperage. It never needed the barrels in the end. I think it was the first blueprint I picked up. 
and it was a complete and utter waste. It's just somehow... Well, yeah, that's just how roguelikes go sometimes. And we were working on some more lizard heads. And a nice little pummel to the side. I was only building more lizard housing. I don't need more lizard housing at all. Gone crazy. More human housing. That's what we need. successfully stolen everything for the forsaken crypt. We have fulfilled our new clothes and by the looks of it we are very close to beating this map even though it did go a little bit poorly at the beginning. I got very greedy with uh, the things I picked. Now the explorer's lodge I know is very good here. No it's the wrong one. I keep thinking it's the clan hall. The clan hall is very good here. No, unfortunately there isn't a clan hall, so ignore that. We do have a market, and that is something that I think is also quite good, and we need it for our um, charity fair order. But we need a lot more planks. And to do that we need more pipes. And to do that we need more planks. Now what are we doing? Slowly but surely we're getting a bit more copper up, which we are smelting in our grill very slowly. This we could probably do with another worker, aren't you? There are some more harpy houses as well. Let's pop them down. I completely forgot to build any provisions again. We have a lot of ways of building provisions. I think I need 35 in total. And that gives us a ranch and some newcomers and some skewers. Let's see. Could, now that we have, well, we have the blueprint for a market, we have the ability to make some tea. Uh, I can't make the teacups, unfortunately. <laughs> I haven't got any copper bars. And I keep thinking, let's just build another mine. And I go to do it and forget pretty much out of parts. And one more gathering camps. But this worked out pretty well, actually. We managed to control the hostility quite nicely. We've gotten kind of everything we needed and look at our food from where we were not too long ago at zero we are now 425 food admittedly most of that is mushrooms I, I hope you're right about the viewer growing if against the storm grows but honestly we think this game is, is very niche <laughs> A roguelike city builder. When I told my friends about this game, a lot of them said that that doesn't, that doesn't really make any sense. Even though I, I think Against the Storm is probably one of my favourite games I've played in a very long time. The notion of it doesn't appeal to everyone, and I can completely understand that. But yeah, the, uh, the viewership for Against the Storm is, is not very high. But that's fine. I enjoy just playing this game. There's my trapper's camp, let's move it. Oh, I never actually gathered these uh, slick shell broodmothers that were there from the very beginning of the game. I completely forgot. 
we have our final cornerstone of the game, most likely. And they, they're all pretty bad. Now, if this was gain 10 pickled goods for every 10 skewers, that would be amazing. Unfortunately, it's not. I guess prayer book is the only one that's actually useful. I mean, the speed that you deal with glade events is really nice. But, yeah, it's, it's not really relevant. We are probably about to win. Is there any way I can speed this up? I don't think I can do any of my orders, unfortunately. I could call the trader immediately, save a whole 30 seconds. And maybe we can sell her a load of goods. We could probably sell her all of our mushrooms and get that charity fair. Spicier Frostpunk is a good way of putting this game, yes. I really liked Frostpunk. Um, I just wish I had a bit more. Frostpunk was was a really cool concept, and I, it probably led to Against the Storm. And you can definitely see some influence from it. Yeah, Frostpunk was was a really great game when it came out. It was a shame that the DLCs weren't fantastic. They were a little bit lacking, but Frostpunk was was a game that. I don't think I'd ever gotten an adrenaline rush from a city builder before, but when the uh, the final cold storm comes in, all oh, that is tense. That feels very... Um, even though it's not close, you kind of have one at that point, it feels like it's close. It gives you the illusion that everything's about to fail. And I think that's kind of what this game does quite well. You always feel like you're f kind of close to losing until everything goes correct. And then you win. Like we just did. Perfect time. It's almost like I planned. I didn't, but yeah. I think that is enough of that settlement. I don't want to continue that any further. But that is the last of our cycle. And we can we unlocked the factions just now. Um so Let's see what this is all about. Let's do our... I believe this is the end of my second cycle. So we're not very far in the game. But oh wow, we've got a lot of bread as our influence rewards. I think that's what that's showing me. This is for the... this is the faction mechanic. Goodbye to all our cities. There they go. Into a new map. More important to more upgrades. Let's see what we can buy. We've got a lot of bread. Let's see what's good. I do like these fundamental upgrades. They um they seem quite interesting. I'm very curious to see what these timed orders are. In fact, let's just go for it. Even though that's all of our resources, timed orders sound interesting. It unlocks a pool of difficult, time sensitive, and highly rewarding orders. It's the, the highly rewarding bit, is the bit I'm interested in. Unfortunately, that is all I have time for uh, this stream, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please remember to follow, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.